EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From historic Riviera Country Club in Pacific Palisades, we bring you opening round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. England's Matt Fitzpatrick is the leader. He's already at nine under par. So another event getting underway here, Frank, and we look at our featured golfer coming in fresh off another victory four short days ago. You know, it's funny what confidence can do for you. Early in the season, you're probably just hoping to try and make some cuts, contend once in a while. Now you're coming into tournaments as one of the favorites to win. As long as you don't get ahead of yourself, because, you know, there's that sort of phrase, you can be a little too cocky. Uh, confidence is a good thing, though. I, I just think take a little step back. I mean, all the back slapping's finished. You won last week. Remember how you did that. Remember how well you played. What got there? That was a series of good shots. So Thursday, you've got to start doing exactly the same with that same attitude. Yeah, that's a nice putt. Getting it there up the hill was half the battle. This got there just a little wide of the mark. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. And he will very quickly move to one under par. So, Frank, this is such a magnificent setting for a golf tournament. You know that. You've played here. You've broadcast here all these years. It has an aura and the obvious history. The clubhouse overlooking the 18th. The proximity to the first tee. Pictures of all the stars from Hollywood's golden era. They all played here. But let's talk about the nuts and bolts of it. What does it take to post a good score here at fabled Riviera? Traditionally, it's known as a great driving course, Rich. And I think that still bodes well today. So many key tee shots, holes dog leg left, dog leg right. But all said and done, um, it, it has this mystique about it because it's actually been the kryptonite for Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods. Neither one of those two, two of the greatest players that have ever played this game, ever won around Riviera. Nope. That finished off for par here with the second. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. Moving now to the 434 yard, par 4-3rd at Riviera. Best way to attack here is to carry that fairway bunker on the left to set up a good angle on your approach. Oh, and it's a narrow fairway here at three, but that'll be in a great spot. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. Well, there's 134 yards left to the flag. Pin, front right. It's a sneaky one. Oh, just needed a little bit more. I know it's 10 feet, but come on, I want it a little bit closer. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. Well, this is just a great par three. 236 yards, the fourth hole. And as they like to say on tour, you can't fake this one. This will take your best shot, and you'd be happy with a three here. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. This is a 13-footer. That'll bring a rise smile. A very good putt there to save his par. And he'll stay at two under. 
You can see here at the par four fifth, there's a lot going on. It is one of the most interesting holes at Riviera, that canyon wall and out of bounds on the right. Then you have the trees down the left. But what really makes this hole distinctive is that grass mound cutting into the fairway just short of the green. And that, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Here we go, this one for birdie. Good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. That one finished off. It is a par here at five, and he'll stay right where he is. You won't come across too many like this. Riviera's fame, par 3-6 at 199 yards. Hard to focus on anything other than that distinctive bunker cut right into the middle of the green. Finding the proper level is imperative here because getting it wrong can create all kinds of unique problems. So that one off target, knocked down a bit by that tree, and that'll make things difficult from there. Everybody goes to the range and they all want to hit 300 yard short shots. But those little chip shots, they're just as important. Ah, uh, that is well read. A terrific putt there to save par. And he'll remain right where he is. Moving on to the seventh, 408 yard par four with a massive bunker running down the left side and a barranca down the right. Fairway narrows considerably at the 270 yard mark, so accuracy off the tee, critical. And this ball not going to stay on the green. It'll wind up on the fringe and a good distance from the hole as well. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, great design. And Riviera, everyone agrees, is one of the best designs in the world. Great design makes you think. It gives you options. So what do you do here at this 433-yard par 4 eighth? You're going to go left side or right side. Take your pick. That will do just fine. Yeah, opted for the left-hand fairway here, and that's a great tee shot. So, Iona, this is second from the fairway. Yes, we have 140 yards left to the flag, and that pin, well, it's back left today. And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss hit the middle of the club, by a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. Yeah, easy to come up short on that one, but that's a decent effort. A 
Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. And he'll remain right where he is. We finish up the front side at Riviera with a 458 yard par four ninth, one of the finest par fours in the game. A long straight drive. If you can manage it, we'll take the two fairway bunkers out of play. Yeah, that will get a little bit of run. That will be just fine. Just over 160 yards still to go here for this second. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Gonna sneak on by. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that finishes off a strong front nine. It's a 33, two under par. Up next, the 315 yard par four tenth. This may be the most beloved hole at Riviera, short par four that offers so many options. Certainly drivable, but only a perfect drive will hold this green. And the miss right will usually result in a bogey or worse. This is an absolute stripe show. Eight of eight, that's as good as it comes. That's Hogan of today. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Yes, rolls it right in. A birdie here at 10. Again, here's a hole where you know instantly you're at Riviera. 583 yard, 11th. It's the second par five on the course, but you, you look at those eucalyptus trees lining both sides of the fairway. That's Riviera. And then the grass barranca, which is a couple of hundred yards from the green. You have to factor that in on your second shot. Terrific hole. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three-way trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. Six feet now for birdie. Yes, good start to this backside. Back to back birdies here at 10 and 11. Up next, a toughie, a 479 yard par 412. It is a gentle left to right, so fading the ball is encouraged. Up near the green, beware of that lone sycamore tree known as the Humphrey Bogart tree, so named because he loved watching golf and relaxing under its shade. Got to be feeling good with back-to-back -back birdies on the card, and this won't hurt either. Another fine tee shot. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. This from seven feet. And 
No missteps there. It is a par here at 12. And he'll remain at four under. Next, it's on to the 13th at 459 yards, where the 12th bent left to right. Number 13 goes the other way, trying to make you utilize all the shots in your arsenal. That's the mark of a really good design. This one again featuring a narrow landing zone leading up to a smallish heart-shaped green. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Down the hill from here, Frank probably going to go with one club less. Oh, this is straight at it. That's a really good line. Oh, excellent shot. I love it when it's the right distance. This one just a little to the right. Nothing wrong with that. quite online and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll stay right where he is. Onward now to the 14th of par three at 192 yards. Flanked by bunkers, this green is wider than it is deep making it important to get one up in the air and stop it quickly. Very good shot, taking it in right of the hole, and good look upcoming. Eight feet remaining here for birdie. Now, that's how you play this 14 hole. That's in for birdie. The 15th hole here at Riviera at 487 yards of par four. It is the number two handicap hole, so that can speak to its difficulty. The one well-placed bunker at the elbow of the dog leg must be avoided, and the green is believed by many to be the toughest to read on the course. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Good clean contact and a nice result and a chance for birdie coming up. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th, and he'll stay at five under. The 16th hole at Riviera, the final par three of the round. It's a tough one at 166 yards. Hit it anywhere on the putting surface, you'll likely be just fine. Miss, and you're almost certain to be in one of the four bunkers framing the entirety of the green.
A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. This is a 19-foot putt. Pretty good line, very close to going in. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Next up, the longest hole on the course at 590 yards, the par 517. It plays slightly uphill the entire way as it works toward the clubhouse and features bunkers on either side of the fairway. And just what you want at this point in the round, you're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Now a second from well over 300 yards. This will be about positioning. Oh, this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. Price is not taking driver out for this one. It's a long ways away, though it is for birdie. This one is tracking. It's not a good line. Look out. This one could be really good. Oh, my. He gave it a good go, didn't he? Just inches short of going in. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Here's a tough one to finish out our day at Riviera, the famous 475-yard par 4 18. This one cut right up against the side of the hill on the left. You'll need to keep something in the fairway here to have a good approach into that renowned 18th green. Well, it's a rarity on the PJ Tour, but a perfect 14 for 14 off the tee. This has been a marvelous exhibition. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th of Riviera, but be mindful, you must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Chance now for another birdie. And there's no space for a lapse in concentration here, perhaps a little bit further away than we would have liked, but a two-part would be a very good result. Much more speed and that would have gone in. Okay, safely in for his par at 18. And that will be an opening round 66. That's a good plan. One last look at the leaderboard, Frank. Our featured golfer down, but not out. 